Hey there, this is uh, Eugene. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I've got some polyurethane bushings here. I got them from, uh, let's see what the name of that company. Uh, let's see, over here. Energy suspension bushings. I don't have the red ones, I got the black ones. Uh, this is my car, I'm putting them on that. I've got a custom suspension on it. And uh, what happens is that there's not much information on how to uh, put them on a lathe and sort of turn them down. So, and they're, they're quite soft. This is about an SPG, somewhere between 70 and 80. That's the hardness rating of it. And this is the size I need. This is a piece that I've already turned down. It took a while to figure out how to do it and it comes out quite nice. And this is what I'm starting from. So this is about a two inch diameter and I need a diameter that's 1.75. And that. So this is how I did it on here. First thing, you got to get your lathe going pretty fast. I'm, I'm running at uh, 1360 RPM over here. That's what I got going. 1360. I got a belt driven lathe, so that tells me where my belts are. Uh, what I have is a, uh, I, it's a three quarter inch bolt, I think it is. So that way I can take my part, I can slap her on i got a nice big bolt here and i can screw it on tighten it up don't have to tighten it up too much now you see a bandage on my finger because how we cut this we don't use a, a normal uh, cutting tool because the cutting tools are too dull and they'll actually put push the uh, polyurethane away and that and what we do is we use a razor blade let's see if you can see the razor blade right here so what I have is an old cutting tool I don't use. And what I've done is I've uh, tapped it, put a screw on it. You can see the screw. And I put a razor blade on. Let's see if we can get that in focus right here so you can see it. And that. What I have is, uh, uh, where are my razor blades? These are from... Uh, just a standard knife that you use. Oh, they're right here, right in front of me here. Uh, a long time ago, I bought a, a box of these guys. Right, Oops. catch you on a magnet. And when you have your hand razor blades, they've got a nice hole on the end. So I split off and used the, uh, let's see if we can get this in focus. Probably my eyes, this probably is in focus. And I use, just cut it off with a, a Dremel tool and then I tapped my old tool here, right? Let's see if you can see a picture of it over here. See, you need that angle, right? You need a real radical angle. And then when I put it up against the, uh, uh, the piece, I'll just move that over. Okay just back her off get her up there and I just eyeballed all this right so now over here you can see the the angle is pretty close Let's see if we can get that right. and when you start cutting you just make an aggressive cut and it'll come off looking like this Sometimes there'll be a band of it, like this. So what I'll do is I'll stop it here, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, set it up and uh, give a cut on it here. All right, so I've got it set up for cutting here. I'll turn my uh, lathe is on. Bring her in a little bit, and then take the piece off. Now this has got a little tab here and I can actually just push her in and cut it off like this. Just put it over. Just take her down. So I'll skip ahead. Alright so I've got it set up here and I'm going to do a thin cut. I'm only doing very small cuts like about uh, 10 thou at a time. So you can see it's peeling off. 
This is a little bit deeper cut than normal. But sometimes uh, it'll come off in strands, or in this case, it's almost like uh, peeling it off. Then I back off and I return. And every cut is a, maybe 10 thou, 5 to 10 thou. Just touch and now I'm peeling it off. Very easy to do, doesn't take much pressure. Back her off and start over again. Now, because you're working with a razor blade, you got to be really careful. I've bumped it a couple times and I've cut myself on, on uh, my fingers. It's very easy to do, especially if you're playing around with that nut trying to get it tight. So I'll stop it here and we'll see what the uh, what the part that we cut off looks like. Right? So now you get an idea. It's uh, you know it's a rubber, so it's very very tough. And that's so normally I'll take a couple of cuts and I, I'll cut it with a scissor. Right? So I've got a pair of scissors here, uh, over here, and uh, get it in there. And cut off chunks like that. And you can see how it comes off. So some of the things is that uh, this blade here, Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. It's kind of angled a little bit so that the leading edge hits uh, first. It's also got a pretty steep angle this way. Let's see if I can get it without a shadow here. Quite a steep air. And what I actually did is I put some spacers. Um, let's see here. Some spacers over here so that it uh, uh, gives even more of an angle in that. So, and that's how you do it. I couldn't find much information on the internet. Uh, some suggestions, and I thought I'd post a video so that others who run in the same boat as me can uh, uh, figure out how to do it. So, this is a regular tool, high speed steel, and uh, you can see it here. Normally, you would sit something like this when you're using it, and uh, I've just attached this part on here and then. I actually use the tool at an angle like this. So instead of being like this, which you'd normally use the tool, I've got it turned down so I can get that extreme angle on the razor blade, as you can see. And, that, and that's just a razor blade. And, that, and then I fill around with the, the, uh, the mount so that I can get the right angle. And that took a little while, and now it cuts really good. Okay. That's it for that. Oh, I want to talk about the finish. Uh, the finish is quite good, right? It's it's not you know shiny like this, but it's very very smooth and that quite happy. Uh, with the ends here, what I did is I just put them in my hand, uh, turned it in my uh, grinder, and got nice a, a small bevel and that makes it fit in there. Uh, I needed 1.75 and these are about 1.77. 7, 8, a little bit, about 1.77 diameter. And that. So, and that's it. That was actually a lot easier than I expected. It just took a, a while to get the right speed. RPM is the 1360, 1200, 1360, spinning quite fast. Uh, razor blade, get the angle right on it, and away you go. Okay, that's all for now.